Hi, this is Troy with Chicken Wolf Ranch. Today we wanted to talk about our chickens and how we keep them hydrated. <clears throat> All right, so here's the uh, watering system that we have here in our main chicken coop. Uh, as you can tell, it's a five gallon bucket and it does have the uh, uh, chicken nipples uh, down below. Um, and uh, the, it's got a bird bath heater uh, in it. Uh, it's February right now, at the end of February, and uh, I've pretty much had it unplugged for about two weeks because it's been really warm, um, but uh, this system works great. The chickens always have water uh, this way. However, it's their backup. They, uh, for some reason, don't enjoy drinking water out of it. I don't know if it's just whatever it is, just God didn't make them that way to drink from up above, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> you know, when, when we started uh, our homestead, um, YouTube has been so valuable because uh, we've used other people's ideas and uh, their thoughts on different situations, and this is one of those items that when I got on YouTube, I was like, Yes, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want to do. It's going to work out great. Um, and it has worked out great. However, this is still their backup system. Um, they can drink water <clears throat> from it whenever they want. However, they much prefer to drink it out of a bucket, uh, as you'll see here in a minute, freezing. Um, now, <clears throat> that's one of the main advantages of doing this system is in the winter, uh, here in Kansas, you know, can get cold, uh, so freezing is a definite issue, um, and leaving, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the bird bath heater in here uh, with a lid uh, keeps the birds safe and it keeps everything clean. The main disadvantage is this is their backup. Um, even though that they are in here uh, until we get up and let them out in the morning, this is not their main source of water. Um, for uh, whatever reason, I don't think they prefer to drink water this way. I'm not sure why. <clears throat> the water is usually very clean. We try to clean it out once a week and fill it up. We probably put at least a gallon in it uh, every other day. And uh, so when, when I got onto YouTube, and <clears throat> I saw somebody's idea that was doing the same sort of thing. I thought, yes, that's it. It's perfect. We're never going to have to fight with uh, water buckets outside uh, the coop and uh, just all the hassles that go with that. Um, we don't have a water spigot here in the chicken coop or right outside. It's back around the corner. I'll show you that here in a minute. So getting water over here into the coop is a little bit of an issue. So um, yeah, so this is our bucket, <clears throat> and uh, so I wanted to show it to you. And but the rent, the main reason for this video is really, I thought this was going to be the solution. And after two years of having this uh, bucket uh, up and running, and you would think that the chickens would get used to it more, uh, that they would like it more. No, they don't. I think they actually like it less because they know we're going to let them out in the morning. And the first thing they do is run over to the water bucket that we have out for the goats. So uh, let's take a look at that now and uh, we'll get right back with you. I uh, forgot one reason um, that we got the bucket. Uh, we had some illness a few years ago with the chickens, they all got a cold and <clears throat> were sneezing into the water that we had here in the coop. And um, this was another reason um, to uh, help with that <clears throat> whole clearing up the illness was to get the water contained so they couldn't sneeze into it. All right, so I'm getting ready to let them out here so you can see what happens. Uh, hold on here, let me uh, get the door. And 
here they go. And let me zoom you in here. So you can see they've headed right to the water bucket. So although my plan of having a chicken water in their coop was a good plan, it turns out that uh, it's really not their favorite way to drink water. Um, so go figure, God designed them uh, to drink water off of the ground and not through a man-made chicken nipple. So, who'd have thought? So thank you guys for watching. Um, we appreciate you being here at Chicken Wolf Ranch with us and we certainly uh, enjoy passing on the things that we've learned here on the ranch <coughs> with you so uh, if this information has been helpful please hit the like uh, button below and subscribe so it certainly does help out our family so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time <music>